Today, I'm going to show you a simple and safe way to customize your display resolution and refresh rate using a tool called CRU, short for Custom Resolution Utility. This method can be helpful if you're trying to get a specific resolution or refresh rate that isn't showing up by default in Windows or your graphics driver settings. Let's get started. First, head down to the description where I've linked the CRU tool. Download and extract the contents to a folder on your desktop or somewhere convenient. CRU is a lightweight tool that doesn't need to be installed. Just unzip and run it. When you launch CRU.exe, look toward the top left corner. You'll see a drop-down menu where you can select the display you want to modify. If you're using a multi-monitor setup, make sure you've selected the correct monitor before making changes. This is an easy mistake to make, so double-check it before continuing. We're going to clean up existing entries before adding new custom settings. Under the Standard Resolution section, click Delete All. Under Extension Blocks, press Edit. Inside the Edit window, delete everything listed. This helps avoid conflicts with preset values. We want to keep things simple and prevent issues down the line. Let's add a custom resolution manually. In the Standard Resolution section, click Add. Set your desired resolution. In the Detailed Resolutions, choose Reduced as the timing setting. This works best with most modern displays. Set your desired resolution, for example, 1280 by 720 and then move to refresh rate. Don't copy my exact refresh rate. This will depend on your specific monitor. For example, if you're trying to push 75 Hz or 144 Hz, make sure your display supports it. Warning: Setting a refresh rate that your monitor doesn't support may cause display issues. If your screen goes black or glitches out after applying settings, don't panic. Just wait 15 seconds and Windows will revert the change. Once everything is set, click OK. If you want to add multiple custom resolutions, repeat the same steps. Just remember, use Reduce Timing again. This is the step where the changes take effect. Inside the CRU folder, you'll find a file called restart64.exe. This restarts the graphics driver without rebooting your system. Run this file twice. It will flash your screen momentarily and reload your driver. Don't worry, this is normal and safe. Important! If you're recording or streaming your screen, running this will likely cause your capture software to crash. Do it when you're not running any critical apps. Once your screen refreshes and comes back, you're ready for the next part. Right-click on Desktop, Display Settings, Advanced Display Settings, Display Adapter Properties, List All Modes. You should now see the custom resolutions you added earlier. Select your preferred resolution and refresh rate. Click Apply, then OK. If everything worked, your screen should update immediately. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, like I am, open the NVIDIA Control Panel. Under Display, click Change Resolution. Choose your custom resolution from the list. Set Output Color Format to RGB, Output Dynamic Range to Full, and Output Color Depth to the highest available, usually 8 or 10 BPC. Under Adjust Desktop Size and Position, make sure Scaling Mode is set to No Scaling, or Display, No Scaling. This ensures your display looks sharp and doesn't get stretched or pixelated. If you're using AMD or Intel, the process is similar. Just look for Scaling and Color Settings and make sure they're maxed out. Once you've applied your preferred control panel settings once, they'll stick. Switching between different custom resolutions won't reset them unless you explicitly reset CRU or your GPU settings. If anything goes wrong or you just want to start over, then run restart64.exe to apply the reset. This will restore all your original resolutions and undo any changes you've made. That's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, drop a comment and let me know what kind of tutorials or optimization guides you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.